Sex is great. Pleasure is great. Good sex. Good sex. Good sex to me means a really, really fun open line where you can create jokes, where you can create laughter, where you can have fun. Being able to be with somebody else and just like being naked, uh, that deserves to be celebrated. A positive thing that I learned in early adulthood was that um, my pleasure matters. I learned that it's so okay to be a slut and I really loved being able to be like, I'm gonna hook up with this person once and that's fine and great. So a funny story is that I actually realized I was asexual because of Chris Evans. My sister asked me when I was like little 13 year old me if I thought Chris Evans was attractive and I was like, yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah, sure. And then she was like, yeah, but are you attracted to him? And I was like, hold, hold the phone. <laughs> Those are two different things. <laughs> like I had no idea that you could be just attracted to people. I don't think you can tell someone's sexual preference by looking at them. I think you really have to have an honest conversation with them. Either ask or wait to be told. You don't want to be rude. You can't really tell someone's sexual preference. You would have to ask. Um, I don't think anyone looks at me and is just like, you look asexual. I like to affirm a trans or gender diverse partner by being vocal. I think it's important that an open line of communication is always there. Asking how they want to be addressed. Do you want people to touch you in certain ways, in certain places. What terminology turns them on, what they're comfortable with. Being a trans non-binary person, I really like when my partners comment on my dick. When I'm starting a new relationship, of course, I want us to talk about, um, you know, getting tested together, let's make a date out of it, <laughs> that kind of thing. Getting tested is very important and like the most important. Because you're talking about them and because you're communicating, you're taking care of each other. You're taking care of your whole community. Porn created such a hard, weird idea of what sex was to me. There's definitely ways to use it mindfully into discovering more about what you like, but I think it can very easily set up very false expectations about how exactly sex is supposed to look like. The aggressiveness of it definitely made me think that that is what was expected of me to like endure <laughs> during sex. When it comes to pacing, it can be a little bit deceiving because for the most part, most people aren't just getting into a room and just taking off her coat. No, like there's a lot more when it comes to it. Celebrating my sexual journey to me means having fun with sex, having fun with my partner, and just kind of taking any preconceived notions of what sex should be and just casting them aside.